if you're new to Linux or maybe you've been using it for a while but have never heard about this feature called Time Shift. This video is for you. Time Shift is a program that lets you create a snapshot or an image of your current operating system. If something goes wrong, like a bad update or a system crash, you can easily restore your system in just a few clicks. So let me show you how to use it. And the good thing is, Time Shift is already installed in your Linux Mint system, so you don't need to install any extra software. Go ahead and launch Time Shift from the application menu. You can find it in the administration category over here, or if you just want to search for it, you can simply type Time Shift and it's just going to appear right there. Just click on it, enter your password for authentication, and now we need to make the system snapshot. We're just going to follow the prompts on the screen. This is very simple. To select snapshot type, you can either select rsync or btrfs, but btrfs will be available only if you have btrfs file system, and that has got to be done during the installation process. So if it's not available, you're going to have to go with rsync, which is also good. Go ahead and click next. It's going to estimate system size. As you can see, I have the ext4 file system. This is why the btrfs snapshot is not available. So as you can see, it's already selected the SDA3. If you have more than one drive, select the one that has Linux Mint on it and then just press next. You can also set up how often you want to make the snapshots. You can do daily, hourly, weekly, monthly, or even at the boot time. So whatever you prefer, but it's safer to do them more often. This way, if you install something, or something crashes, you can easily recover to the earlier point in time and it's not going to have to be a month old. Yeah, we'll just do it daily. And here you can select how many snapshots you want to keep. So older snapshots will be removed once this limit is exceeded. Then click next. User home directories are usually excluded by default. So if you don't want to back up your user files, you can just choose exclude all files Then click next. And this is your summary. Then click finish. And now we all set up then simply press create and it will start the backup this might take a bit of time depending on your system and how many files you have but usually it doesn't take too long all right so the snapshot is finished it actually wasn't taking too long and as you can see it has created this snapshot so now we can go ahead and safely close it let me know in the comment section below what is your snapshot schedule how many snapshots do you usually keep and how often do you make one that will be interesting to know well this is it guys i hope you find this video helpful if you like it please support with your like if you first time to the channel please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos i'm gonna have a lot more helpful interesting linux videos on my channel so make sure to subscribe and if you like what I'm doing and would like to support my channel, you can always use Super Thanks or simply buy me a coffee. I'm gonna put the link in the description. But this is it for today. I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.